I've been posting quick little restoration projects on Instagram. I don't feel every tool I clean up warrants a YouTube video, but I figure some people might still be interested. I find Instagram to be a good venue for this type of project. This perfect handle screwdriver started out as another quick Instagram project. The shank was rusted but surprisingly straight. The wood scales were in pretty good shape, except for not quite fitting the forging. The wire wheel exposed a maker's mark that I hadn't noticed before. Perfect Handle Tools started with the H.D. Smith Company. H.D. Smith was founded in 1855 in Plantsville, Connecticut. The company was initially a foundry and was a pioneer in drop forging technology. H.D. Smith developed the Perfect Handle design in the early 1900s. One of the patent holders for these tools was W.S. Thompson. The H.D. Smith Company was a victim of the Great Depression. The Tobrin Tool Company was incorporated in 1923 in nearby Southington, Connecticut, with the same William S. Thompson as president and Joseph Brannan, another former H.D. Smith employee, as vice president. The Tobrin Tool Company continued the H.D. Smith Perfect Handle Screwdriver line, while Trimont Manufacturing took over the wrench line. Later, in the 1940s during World War II, the Tobrin Tool Company was an approved source for the perfect handle screwdriver included in the Willys Jeep toolkit. Tobrin was acquired by Consolidated Industries in the 1950s. I think I can just make out the TT Company triangle logo next to the Tobrin on the shaft. I sanded down the wood scales and finished them with Waco Danish oil. This stuff has become my go-to wood finish. It's easy to apply and gives the wood a vintage hand rubbed look. To finish up, I coated the whole thing with paste wax to protect against corrosion. This is a relatively large screwdriver. There is a 10 in a triangle on the blade tip. It looks like this refers to the length of the shaft. Total length is about 16 and a half inches. Researching the history of old tools is as much fun for me as cleaning them up. I'll put links to a few of the websites I like to use for my research in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I can't believe you're mad at me. You're the only metal polish I use. I just didn't need you for this project. You're totally overreacting. Look, how about I promise you'll be in my next tool restoration video? Don't give me that look. I just promised, didn't I? Jeez.